Eminem hates MAGA supporters, which is shocking to me to say the least. Picture this, a 14-year-old Marshall Bruce Mathers through dreaming of rap stardom in Detroit, a city that probably had more grit than glitter at the time. Back then, rap was like that underdog in a sports movie, gaining recognition, but not quite the headliner. We're talking about the era when rap was still in its awkward teenage years, trying to sit at the cool kids' table alongside the likes of Rakeem, Big Daddy Kane, and LL Cool J. But young Marshall wasn't about to let the rap game be a high school clique he couldn't join. Nope. Armed with talent and dreams bigger than the beats he'd soon be dropping, he teamed up with a high school buddy to craft his own hip-hop destiny. Against all odds, this teenager etched his name in the annals of rap history, turning a Detroit backdrop into the canvas for his lyrical masterpiece. Fast forward, and Eminem's net worth is not just in the millions. We're talking the high-octane baller status of hundreds of millions. But let's not be fooled. This rap maestro didn't emerge from the womb with with a mic in hand and a silver spoon in his mouth. He probably had to hustle harder than a caffeinated squirrel on a Monday morning to get to where he is today. Imagine this, Eminem's journey didn't just start at birth, it was practically an action-packed blockbuster from the womb. Picture a young Marshall Bruce Mathers III and his teen mom Debbie Nelson engaging in a 73-hour battle royale just to bring the future rap icon into the world. And you thought your labor stories were insane? After three days of labor that probably felt longer than waiting for the latest Playboy Cardi album, Eminem finally made his grand entrance on October 17, 1972. It's like he was saying, I may have taken my sweet time, but get ready world because Slim Shady is in the building. But life wasn't handing out gold records and platinum chains for young Eminem. Nope, his dad pulled a Houdini act when he was just a year and a half old, leaving Debbie and him to navigate the tumultuous seas of life. Moving from place to place like they were playing musical chairs, life was a roller coaster with Eminem's mom, Debbie, at the helm. And let's not forget Eminem's school years. It wasn't all lunchbox and recess for the future rap superstar. At 10, a classmate named D'Angelo Bailey turned into a headbanging maestro, delivering a beating that even Rocky would wince at. But did Eminem back down? Nah, he turned that pain into an epic diss track, because in Slim Shady's world, adversity is just another beat to drop. Living in a predominantly black neighborhood in Detroit, where Eminem was practically the human unicorn, one of only three white families, life wasn't handing out easy passes. Uncle Ronnie Polkinghorn, a half-brother of Debbie, swoops in like a musical superhero. Ronnie becomes Eminem's musical mentor, guiding him through the rocky terrain of the Detroit music scene. Fast forward to Eminem at 14, teaming up with his college buddy Mike Ruby to become the dynamic duo Mannix and Eminem. High school stages were their battlegrounds and open mic contests were their arenas. But being a white rapper in Detroit had its challenges, like trying to be the only snowflake in a blizzard. Yet, Eminem, fueled by the fire of neglect, the trauma of beatings, and a sprinkle of white boy blues, didn't throw in the towel. Instead, he honed his melodic magic and rhyming skills, becoming a lyrical maestro in the making. But just when you thought the story was settling into a success montage, tragedy struck. In 1991, his friend, mentor, and 19-year-old uncle took a heartbreaking exit from the world. Eminem, drowning in sorrow, didn't speak to anyone for days. Loneliness, grief, and anger, a potent cocktail that could have spelled disaster. But in Slim Shady's hands, it became the ink for his musical story. Despite a decade of hustle, his first album, Infinite, in 1996, didn't exactly make him the Eminem we know today. Instead, it sold about as many copies as your grandma's mixtape, and she's not even a rapper. Now, most people, faced with a hit to the ego and an album that could double as a coaster, would probably contemplate a career change, but not Eminem. No, he decided to pull a literary Houdini and conjured up Slim Shady, a persona that's thin on inhibitions and dark on the shade scale. It's like he thought, if life hands you lemons, create an alter ego and squeeze some rhymes out of them. Little did he know that this Slim Shady character would be his golden ticket. In 1997, he dropped the Slim Shady EP, selling a whopping 250 copies, a number that probably felt like a million bucks at the time. But Eminem, the rap wizard, had no clue that Destiny was about to slide into his DMs. Life hit him with a double whammy, eviction from his home and a pink slip at work. In a plot twist straight out of a Hollywood script, Eminem found himself at the Rap Olympics in Los Angeles, 
facing off against other aspiring artists. He may not have won the gold, but little did he know he had just secured a backstage pass to stardom. Enter Dean Geislinger, an intern at Interscope Records, who happened to be in the audience. He snagged a copy of the Slim Shady EP and thought, hey, Jimmy Iovine, our CEO, might dig this. Iovine, in turn, played the EP for Dr. Dre, the hip-hop maestro and head honcho at Aftermath Records. Now, Dr. Dre, in all his music industry wisdom, had never been impressed by a demo tape or CD before, but when he heard Slim Shady, he probably felt like he stumbled upon a unicorn. He told Rolling Stone, find him, now. Little did Dre know that Eminem was the white knight he didn't know he needed, and everyone at the label opposed giving Mathers a chance. From a kid dodging bullies and bouncing from place to place, Eminem has transformed his financial fiasco into a fortune. And no, it's not just mom's spaghetti making him the breadwinner. With a net worth that's no less than a quarter of a billion dollars, and that's the lowball estimate, Eminem's pockets are so deep even his bank account needs a GPS. Now. The internet's buzzing with debates hotter than Eminem's rhymes about whether his net worth is a casual $250 million or if he's secretly stashing away a cool $700 million. It's like the world can't decide if Slim Shady is a lyrical genius or a financial wizard. Either way, Eminem's piggy bank is so fat, it's considering a low-carb diet. In the slowest of his musically slow years, Eminem casually rakes in $10 to $20 million just by breathing. No tours or albums required. His shady record label is like a cash cow, churning out new talent and milking royalties. It's like he's not just the real Slim Shady, he's the real Slim Banker. And let's not forget his side hustles. Eminem's got more endorsements than a presidential candidate. G-Shock, Nike, Beats by Dr. Dre. It's like he's getting paid to wear cool stuff. He's even dabbled in car ads and sweetened the deal with some brisk iced tea. We might not know the exact numbers, but rest assured, it's enough to make your average piggy bank blush. Forbes keeps tabs on Eminem's earnings like it's tracking the stock market. After nearly three decades in the game, he's not just the highest paid rapper, he's the financial maestro of the mic. Private events? Sure, he charges a cool 1.5 to 2 million dollars. Just pocket change for the real slim money bags. Remember 8 Mile? That flick wasn't just a movie, it was an investment strategy. With a budget of 41 million dollars and box office earnings of 242 million dollars, Eminem was laughing all the way to the bank. And let's not forget it was basically a feature length promo for The Eminem Show, his best selling album ever. Genius move, slim, genius move. From music to acting, his record label to a spaghetti joint. Yes, really. Eminem's got his fingers in so many pies. It's like he's running an entrepreneurial bakery. His life story is the ultimate rags to riches saga. A tale of bullies turning into backers and fortunes smiling on the once fortuneless. Eminem, the man who went from lose yourself to find a fortune. It's proof that hard work, resilience, and maybe a dash of mom's spaghetti can turn any no into a yeah, I'm rolling in cash now. Hats off to the real Slim Shady for proving that no matter how tough the journey, the destination is always worth the wait.